Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to create some simple effects with the images like this. As we scroll down you can see we have these nice but simple effects and as you scroll back up they will basically revert to their original state and if I refresh the page you can see the first one also animates like so. So it's pretty simple, it's just going to take uh, about 10 minutes. This example is going to be using Bricks Builder once again. So without further ado, let me show you how we can create something like this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is just add a new page. I'm just going to call this uh, image animation. I'll publish this. And now let's edit with Bricks. So as you can see, I have a blank page here. All I have is a header and a footer template. So just to make this process more simple, I'm just going to use a template here. I'm going to use violet and section. And let's just use the first one here. So content 20, as you can see, this has an image on the left side. Now, as you can see, this contains columns, which is columns two. And uh, we have an image on the left and then right, we have a um, we have a block here which contains some content. So what I'm going to do first of all is just wrap this image in another block and we'll call this left. So this is going to be our left block here. And then within that we have our image as you can see. Now our image also wants to be contained. So I'm just going to put this in a div as you can see. Now I'm going to call this our image container. And on this div here, we are going to add a clip path to make it a circle. But also inside here, we need another div. And I'm going to put this div to the top here above the image. And this div is going to be basically our primary color background, right? So I'm just going to call this uh, image overlay. All right, so the setup now is we have a uh, left column here. And then within that, we have an image container. This is containing two elements. It's going to contain an overlay and an image. All right. So first of all, what we'll need to do on the container is we need to set this to be relative. So position relative. And the reason for that is because this overlay needs to be set to absolute. So we'll go position absolute on here. And I want this to span across the whole parent. So what we'll do is just set all of these values here to zero. Okay. And then the final step for this one is we'll, we'll need to add a class to this for the background because we want to manipulate that in motion page. So what I'm going to do here is just add, um, for example, MP, MP image overlay. All right. So this is our class now. So on this class, what I want to do is go to the background, background color, and we'll set it to our primary color like so. The next thing what I want to do is on the parent now, we'll add another class so that we can target this in motion page as well. And we'll do MP for motion page, image, container. Now on this class here, what I want to do is go to the CSS and we'll do root. And we'll add our clip path here. So clip path. And we, we want to use a circle and we want to do, make sure there's a value in here. So 50% will make it a full circle like so. Okay. So I'm going to save this and head over to motion page to see what we can do with this. Okay. So in motion page, I'm just going to create a new timeline here. And just for the time being, we can leave it to page load just to see what's going on. But before that, I'm just going to rename this uh, timeline here to image animation. And let's select the page that we've just created here. All right, so what we want to target first is the parent. Okay, so let's control the clip path first of all. So that was uh, a class of image. Sorry, it was a class of MP image container. Just hover over that to make sure that's working. As you can see, it is working. And now if we've got a custom, we can do clip path. Uh, and this will actually need to be on the two because as you can see, it's already starting out as a circle. So two custom clip path. 
and this needs to be circle and let's give this a huge value for example 200 percent so now as you can see when we play this you can see it's starting out now what i'm going to do is just change the ease a little bit here so it's a little bit more linear now 200 percent may be a little bit too big so let's try 100 percent remember the original value is 50 percent right so now it's much slower and that looks pretty good actually so the next thing we need to do is we need to move this overlay out of the way so that the image comes into focus so what i'm going to do now is add a new node like this i'm going to put it in line and now i'm going to target the overlay so that was mp image overlay as you can see now it's starting in its original position and then we just want to translate it for example on the x-axis so we can use a negative value to move it left or a positive value to move it right now i'm going to move it to the left side so minus 100 percent so now as you can see we have this effect going on now the only issue is we can still see this overlay now it is transformed as you can see 100% to the left but we shouldn't be able to see it so all we need to do is in bricks just make sure the container is set to overflow hidden and you can also do that in layout as well so in layout if you want to do that on the ID you just got to overflow hidden make sure this is set to hidden but I'm using a utility class here from core framework to make it easier now if I refresh motion page we'll play it again now you can see we have this nice effect going on now you can play around with the uh, length of these nodes so for example you could do it like this so it goes to a square first and then fades out which I do prefer actually now I think I'll make these a little bit smaller maybe half a second and make this around half as well so it's quite fast as you can see okay so quite a nice effect it's quite fast it's not too slow and then in bricks what I'm going to do is the content here I'm going to duplicate this three more times and then on the second one I just want these to alternate a little bit so all I'm going to do is go to columns I'm just going to switch out the left and right on the second content and then on the last one as well. So I'll put this above here like so, just so that they alternate a little bit. Refresh this. And now when I play it, they'll all happen at the same time. So now what we can do is change the trigger to scroll trigger. And in this case, I don't want it to lock to the scroll bar because what I want to happen is when I scroll down, once it hits the line, I want the animation to play in full. So first, what I'll need to do is bring these lines closer together. So I'll just bring this up a little bit around halfway. Let's do 55. And then we'll bring this to 50, just so that they're very, very close together like this. And then it starts when the first element's top. We also want this to be top as well. All right. Now, as you know, each element has the same classes applied, right? So we can click on this one. We can see the class here, image overlay. That's the same for each instance. So we don't want them all to happen at the same time. So in that case, we'll just check this one here, trigger each iteration individually. So now they're all independent of one another. So once it hits the green line, basically it's going to trigger the whole animation. Okay. Now one thing I want to add is uh, toggle actions. Now I want this to be reverse on scroll back leave. Now what this is going to do, when I scroll down it's going to trigger this one. But when I scroll back, as you can see, once it leaves the start viewport line, it's going to reset itself. And that's the effect I'm going for here. Okay, so we'll save timeline and uh, we'll just have a quick look on the front end here. So because this has already hit the trigger line, it's animated already, which is nice. And then as I scroll down, we get this nice effect here. It's quite fast. Now, if you want to make it slower, all you need to do is just drag out the, uh, the nodes here. So we've put it back to one second. And then we'll drag this out as well and put it towards the end. Save timeline. And this is just going to prolong the animations slightly. 
just a little bit slower as you can see. Okay. So there you have it guys, a basic tutorial today, uh, not too long, beginner friendly and pretty simple to set up. If you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we'll be back once again with a new tutorial very soon. Thank you very much.